Welcome to the No No Giorgio and Rory Cooking Italian for Weight Loss channel. Today's recipe is Mexican pozole. Look how delicious this Mexican soup looks. You need guajillo, which are Mexican peppers. The next ingredient is chili ancho. Next are tostadas. Next is Mexican oregano, stronger than American. Next is hominy corn, an essential ingredient to this dish. Hominy corn and all of these ingredients can be bought in the Spanish section of your supermarket. If you've liked this video, hit the like button below. Also, subscribe to my channel. Once you've subscribed, don't forget to press the bell to get more videos of this type. Hi, welcome back to the No No Giorgio and Rory Cooking Italian for Weight Loss channel. As we said in the beginning that we're doing mostly Italian recipes, but we were going to throw in um, other countries' recipes that we enjoy, and today is one of them. So today is Mexican day, and uh, one of my favorite dishes, pozole, P-O-Z-O-L-E, and it's a very simple um, soup. You can make it with pork. Uh, we're going to make it with vegetarian chicken, and uh, it's absolutely delicious, very light, and, um, but it has many ingredients, and uh, more than uh, half the ingredients are garnishes, but you'll see that the garnishes are very important. So get ready. Vamos a Mexico. Okay. And as Rory said, there, there's a lot of ingredients, so it's probably a little more complex than, than our other recipes have been, but it's easy. Uh, yeah. You follow along. It's just a lot of chopping and cutting and preparing. Yeah. You know, and then once you have everything ready, you're ready to cook. Yeah. All right. Let's get started. So, um... Of course, everything starts with garlic and onion. So I'm putting um, like a quarter to a half medium onion and three cloves of garlic into saute. And actually, I told you the other day that onion should uh, cook slowly. So I'm turning the um, heat down a little bit so that they uh, don't get bitter. So the onions are getting clear and the garlic and it's getting a little brown which is wonderful. It'll give it a good flavor. And now we're going to put our chicken in. Now at this point if you're making this dish, this pozole, with pork, you would put your, your uh, pork cubes in here. And of course, you know, being real meat, you would have to um, uh, cook it quite a while, get it brown, and then you would also cook the whole soup uh, longer than we're going to cook this because we really don't have any raw meat in here. It's a vegetable chicken, vegetarian chicken. So we're going to let the chicken cook a little bit. The onion, the garlic, and the chicken has had a chance to get together and blend flavors. We're getting that wonderful onion smell. We're going to put in some cumin. And you will have amounts in the recipe below, but I kind of do it by eye. <laughs> I don't really measure too much. We're doing uh, cumin, ground cloves. If you have whole cloves, that's a wonderful thing. Um, and then we're going to put some bay leaf in here. Um, and mix that all up. I think I'll put a little salt and pepper in here at this point too. Okay. 
I wish you could smell this. It's so good. All right, that looks like the spices and the herbs are blended. And we're going to put in four cups of vegetable broth, which um, you can either um, make at home or buy commercial. But this Nono Giorgio has shown us how to make our own broth. So if you want to use your own broth, that's a wonderful thing. And now we're going to um, move over to the chilies. These are the Wajio chilies. And these are the Ancho chilies we use. Both can be gotten in the Spanish section of your supermarket. And let me tell you about the chilies. These are Wajio and Ancho chilies. You can put chile de árbol uh, if you want. And they're dry. So uh, 30 minutes ago, we put them in um, a couple of cups of hot water and they've had a chance to get a little softened and uh, what we're going to do now is put them in the blender to make sort of a chili paste. Now a, a point about, about the chilies. If you um, don't have all these chilies in your store, which they usually are, most supermarkets carry these now, um, you can use other types of chili and it'll be just as good. If you don't like it really hot, you may not want to use as many uh, chilies as I'm using. But um, sometimes if I don't have the ingredients and we want to make the soup, I just put uh, canned chipotles in there or I put um, jalapenos. We found them in uh, Publix, our supermarket in the Spanish section. Right. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. I think that'll do it. You don't want um, big pieces of dry chili in your spoonful of soup. So look at this though. Isn't that beautiful? And now we're going to add this to our chicken, onion, garlic, and seasonings mix. And oh, there goes our timer. And now we are going to stir it up a little bit. And look at that full color. Mexican oregano is stronger than American oregano. And um, I also like to add a little um, Mexican oregano. Now you have to be careful with Mexican oregano because it's much stronger than what we're used to. So, um, you know, I'm putting probably what a teaspoon and a half or something in here. But it gives it a, another bit of nice flavor. Okay, and... How many corn? Here it comes in a can like this. And here's what it looks like after we've washed it and drained it. Now we're going to add the hominy corn. And um, I know this sounds awful, but I'll tell you how, com how many corn gets this way. It's regular corn kernels that are soaked in lye or lime. And the, the lime or the lye breaks down that hard outer shell on the corn and sort of sprouts it. So you get these delicious little um, corn puffs that are white. And these are also used to make um, masa for uh, tortillas. And uh, I didn't know, but I just saw that they're used also uh, sometimes uh, to make um, grits. So look how this looks. This is just beautiful. It's got the uh, leaves, the bay leaves floating in there, a little bit of chicken, and it's a beautiful red color. This, by the way, is red pozole. You can also make green pozole, uh, which you would make with, uh, you know, green, and green chilies only and uh, different ingredients to give you a different color. And there's also white pozole, but... Um, 
that's uh, not very traditional. So either uh, red or green is what you would normally have. Okay, we've got the pozzoli ready. And Rory's going to tell you how you set it up, because that's the best part, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, let me serve some out, and then we're going to show you how to do the garnishes, which is really fun. And if, if you look, we had a picture of the uh, garnishes in the video, so you'll see it, uh, but it's so much fun. Don't forget to pull the bay leaves out. Yeah. They're not good to eat. <laughs> no. Because you don't want to bite into a, a surprise bay leaf, but it won't kill you. So this is just absolutely perfect. And it smells delicious. We use fresh tostadas to crumble up as part of the garnish. And here's a plate of the final garnish to be put on the soup. Here's what we do. So we have, these are tostadas. And if you're, if you're Catholic, this is communion. <laughs> George, no. This is Mexican food, not communion. <laughs> okay, so you can crumble a little bit of this into it. Some of this is just to kill the hotness, but according to George, this is not hot, so you may be fine. And then we have um, a little bit of uh, green onion. I'm going to take some lime. And we have some radishes, and we have a bunch of um, cabbage. green cabbage, avocado, cilantro you've got to have. And so these are the garnishes, and they make the dish. I mean, it's delicious on its own, but the garnishes are what you need. And then I love lime. You know, lime sparks up any food, and it's just wonderful in this. So I have very fond memories of pozole because it's a dish that people have, for example, at New Year's, um, it's um, a celebration dish. And actually people also have it when they have a hangover the next day, even though menudo, which is a whole different dish, is mostly used for hangovers. But anyway, pozole. Um, is used a, is eaten a lot on birthdays and I have this wonderful memory of um, being at a cousin's house on my birthday a few years ago and they woke me up he was uh, part of a mariachi band and he woke me up with a couple of his musicians playing um, Mañanitas which is the song you sing when it's somebody's birthday and if you haven't heard it, you should go on YouTube and look up Mañanitas. And then they had made me this huge pot of pozole. And it was one of the nicest birthdays I ever had. There's nothing like Mexican food with its incredible aroma, its seasonings, its just flavors and textures and beautiful food. And if you haven't seen a movie called like water for chocolate mm. you have Great to movie. see it because it's all about how food mingles with mood and it's such an integral part of our lives so enjoy the food enjoy the movie if you haven't seen it mm. Mm. you yeah. like it mm. i do you cannot imagine how good this is. The flavors, I mean, there's so many different flavors. When you, when you bite into it, it reminds you of a good Mexican restaurant. But it's so good. It's so much texture, as Rory said. I love it. it and it's not hot, hot spicy. But you can control how much you put in. So make it, don't be scared, it's, you know, it's mostly just chopping things up and the actual recipe is really simple. And have a wonderful day and ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Arrivederci. Thank you for and watching. Don't forget to like this video if you like the recipe or you're going to make it. 
And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and check the bell next to subscribe because that will notify you by YouTube when we come out with new videos. Bye! Bye! We hope you have enjoyed our channel. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you get notified of new videos when they come out.